In today's video from Go Repairs, we're going to show you how to make your own elephant's toothpaste. Firstly, for our friendly version, we're going to start by adding some hydrogen peroxide to a clear glass. Then take some washing up liquid and add a few drops into the glass before giving it a quick mix. Now grab some yeast and dump some into the solution to see our reaction take place. This is a much more child friendly version of what I'm about to do and can be performed indoors. Just be careful to cover your surfaces to avoid any spills. You will notice that the reaction is producing heat, but it's not that bad and not as hot as the next part. For our next step, we're moving outside and we're setting up similar to before, but this time, instead of adding yeast, I'm going to be using potassium iodine. As you can see, this gives a much more impressive visual result and produces a lot more heat, so be careful. This experiment displays the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, with the oxygen being produced getting trapped in the washing up liquid, which is why it gets so foamy. Luckily for people looking to recreate this experiment, hydrogen peroxide is quite reactive and many things can be used as a catalyst for its decomposition. Using different substances as catalysts will give varying results in the speed at which the reaction takes place and the heat produced. Another factor is the concentration of your hydrogen peroxide. I should also mention that you can change the colour of the foam in the experiment by adding dye, although when I tried with my food colouring it didn't turn out so well. Another variation of the child friendly version is to put glow sticks inside the solution before you add your yeast. This should make your foam glow. If you enjoyed this video then please leave it a like rating, you can also share your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to share the link to this video using the share the link feature on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with our videos then please click on the subscribe button and on your screen now are two videos for you to check out if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.